All right, so we just went and picked up the Trophy Ridge Digital React Trio Pro. And this thing's actually pretty neat. Uh, you can pause right there if you want to read all that, but it has a uh, vertical 10,000 pin and the two horizontals are 19. It has this digital readout over here. And then you can do a normal sight tape over here if your state doesn't allow the digital or it dies while you're in the woods. We also have the original React Trio Pro on my bow with side tape. And then you can put one out here also. But a uh, couple things that we noticed right off the bat is obviously that one's digital, the mine is not. This is Colton's, this is mine. Mine has your traditional uh, screws on the side to adjust the 20 and 30 pin. To adjust his 20 and 30 pin, it's got two screws up top, and then just an indicator on the side, and just an indicator on the side. That's kind of probably kind of hard to see. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And you can move them up and down like that. I called you. Gonna go ahead and open it up. Oh no, this might be a long montage. So this one actually has this thing where I rip that off. Let me see it. You can go ahead and keep taking it off of there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the tackle yeah. box. So this one actually has a a setting where you can shoot one arrow and you're done. Every sight or every yardage is set. So you just got to IBO your arrow weight with your bow and then you put that in there and it calculates everything for the digital side. And then you just got to match up your your uh, traditional tape side with it. If you want to do that also. What's up, man? What are you doing? Elk. Yeah, there's an elk on there. All right, go play. Go play in the water. Yep. This is your, it's got the React technology, just like mine does. Mine has React. You can see it right there. But this is the digital React version. I can't just IBO mine and set it because I don't have electronics. This one you can, you can see right here, it's got the 19,000. Clear or no? It's not focusing. All right, well, we'll focus, but 19,000 horizontal, 10,000 vertical, and then, you know, that's your sight picture. You could tell it's a lot smaller. And then this actually, you can take these Allen heads out. You can take these Allen heads out, this one, this bottom one. And you could remove that in case you need to go somewhere that doesn't allow electronic sites. But you can even do half yard. You can go down to half yard uh, increments. You can set up five profiles. So if you have a heavy arrow, a fast arrow, anything in between, you can set it all up, set it in once and be done with this site or any of the digital react sites. They all have the uh, unique profile setting you can do. Mine doesn't have that. It's just the normal, you know, set it all up like you gotta shoot 40 and then you gotta shoot 60 or 80 and then pick your sight tape just like i did um you can see it took me two tries there's two sight tapes on there but you got your toolless windage and elevation adjustment on both of them he's got the same thing and then you got this right here this unlocks and locks everything so that you can move it um and then for mine, for for mine, for the horizontal lock, it's right here. You just push that down and it locks it. It won't travel up and down anymore no matter how much you crank the knob. Unless you just overpower it, it's like a brake. Is there's a uh, knob over here inside of the normal knob that locks it. That's a little different. But as far as mounting, mounting the side goes, you still got one, two, three, four holes. One, two, three, four holes. So everything seems pretty similar there. Look really similar. Um, the only difference is really the digital, and they've done a couple of minor adjustments on how everything is used. But 
you can see them right next to each other. And you can see just how much smaller that see just how much smaller that vertical pin is than mine. That's mine. That's the old version. And that's the new version. And that's something that I've definitely noticed is that at range that pin comes up significantly more than it should. So that's a pretty good sight picture. You can see the digital screen pretty good. Um, you got the toolless adjustments. You got that adjustment. That's pretty good. You got a light for the pins what this is. oh yeah it comes so the digital screen you charge it it comes with a cable so you just charge it you don't gotta take watch batteries with it. that's nice for backpacking and then if you're on a two-week hunt and you run out of battery you just flip over and use your standard sight tape so that is pretty nice yeah we're gonna play that's yeah, pretty much the same exact frame as mine looks pretty identical except for the digital part obviously and it's got you know power mode select and we'll do all that next time there's the charging port we'll do all that uh when we actually mount it on the boat tomorrow morning yeah. all right we got the third 2030 sighted in so we're gonna try 40 this is all you have to do for the digital react you just start at 40 but we started at 20 and 30 just to make sure we were on the target at least when we'll lose an arrow which i would recommend we've done two of these react technology sites now and that's what i've done and it's worked pretty good was that way left yeah Right over it. That was dead center. I can barely see the pin though. Like this, legit. this right here is yeah. rubbing up against the side of the pin. Okay. We'll have to see. What, I, I'll call Bear and see if we can flip this down below. If we can flip it down below, then we'll flip it down below. Hey, it looked good left and right though. Yeah. I think it did top, smack the top of the target. Yeah. It. Better chill out, boy. Kenny, calm down, Kenny. Hey, what's Kenny. Twisting tiger. Nice. <laughs> Where did that go? That was my D loop. Did it? Oh, it's done? Yeah. Crap. Well, video's over today. Yeah, we'll have to come back out again after I tie a new D-loop. Oh, 70 yards. Ooh, or 70 oh, that was what? Today was the third day of trying to shoot this video? How high was that? Was that like... Yeah. Oh, he's gone. Crap. Was that... Alright, worst case worst, I guess I'll spend more money buying air eyes. Yeah, you're gonna find me more air eyes. Alright, let's see if we can find the one that missed dead over the top. It was dead even left and right. I think the fletch was smacked right here. Well, I watched it hit. it hit. I watched the dust come up. Yep. One of the flexions. Oh, you got another one? Uh, no, that's not a flexion. Uh, no, it's not. Okay. Well, there, get your flexion. So we know it went this far. Easter all over again. But I think it's like right over here, though, because if you look at the line of the line of sight, we were shooting about right through here. Yeah. So it's got to be, well, it doesn't have to be, but I would think it'd be right out here somewhere. I'm sure, it was close. Oh, there it is. Nice. Mm hmm. Yep, that was the fletching. The real question is, ah. That was the one that smacked the top of the target, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the one. So I bet that fletching probably smacked the top of the target. The other one, uh, that one's long gone, dude. We're not gonna find that one. All right, so day four of trying to sight this thing in. We just chopped the tree down. 
and it's kind of evening but uh we're having trouble we just shot ones up we're not having trouble we're just trying to get this thing dialed to 80 real quick so 57 what 55 was 60 so 65 should be 70 75 should be 80 but we're gonna go 74 73 74 and we're gonna shoot 80 real fast we already launched one over the target yeah we already lost one so we're gonna shoot 74 74 this is 77 why is it 77 that makes no sense okay this is 80 right here all right so this should be Should be good. You can fix that peep. Oh, yeah, I didn't do it. My bad. Yeah. Oh, I'm on, let me get on target. Okay, I'm on target. That was bottom. That was bottom of the game. And it hit top, didn't it? I can't tell where it hit. It hit top. Wait. It's getting dark out. I believe it hit top. I watched, I think it hit the, the top thing. We're out here in the evening because it was 117 degrees today. Way too freaking hot. And we just had to make sure we moved this peep up because it was way too low. So we got his peep set correctly, but we had reset in everything below 40, 20, 30. So now we're doing 80 to try to get the right React back. technology I'm, set. I'm you gonna go check it? Here. I'm gonna run, so you probably won't run. be able to. Oh, nice. It was top, above the top target in the words. We got it set at 71 to whatever um, Trophy Ridge sets it at right out of the box, but we're shooting at 80. So we'll, we'll relearn it to 80. It already relearned 40. So once we relearn 80, it will just come up with every yardage in between for us. I do loop just loop. And beyond. I think it's pinched in a little. So I had to pinch it back out. Your what? My D loop, like, unless it's just this knock, but. Look, it's, it's not been that close, like, basically rubbing. Don't be moving your D-loop at all. I didn't you just said you pinched it in. No, I think I, it somehow got pinched in. Uh, hey, before you start shooting, turn this thing. Okay. You're I already turning? did. Let's go. I just turned it. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, on the target. Still high. How high? One target. Go six. So go sixty-nine. I was doing. I was doing middle target. Middle middle. Yeah, it's middle high. Okay. You that? Did you do sixty-nine? There you go. My bow is weak. They must be really putting in a weak bow. Wait, oh, is your phone going off? I guess not. Yeah. We are losing light fast. You can see it. The GoPro doesn't really make it seem like it, but there's no sun over there. I twisted it too. Yeah, you gotta get used to twisting it the right way though. No, I twisted it the right way. Oh no. Okay, what? The uh, pins are starting to glow compared to the sight. That was bottom. I can't even tell. Crack one of my arrows. That'd be the same. That's the cool thing about us shooting the same exact bow, same exact sight, same exact arrows. You can just take one of mine and shoot it. Our setups are identical. Just about. I, got, I, mean, I think I'm shooting 68 pounds on this though, not 71 like you are. No, I think it's 70. Is it? No, he did set it at 68, didn't he? Yeah. 69, 68, somewhere in there. But he couldn't crank it up. Yeah, that's what he said. But it, it's fine. We, should we just max out our bows? <laughs> no. Why not? No, I'm good with Mike's set at 70. Why not? For now. Or do you think our bows will max out too? I don't know. I've never done it. Perfect. That was dead middle. That was dead middle. That was dead middle. A little right. They're all a little right, aren't they? Yeah. So we might need to turn. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say, um. Oh, dude, that's height is perfect. Perfect height. A little right. So I put a little orange strip on mine to tell the difference. And that height is. That's perfect. Every arrow is a little right, so we'll have to adjust that out, but. As far as our sight tape wise, we have that set now. Hey, not too bad at 80 for left and right wise. Yeah, it's not bad. A couple cranks. Probably a half line. 
a half yeah. hash mark halfway. Uh, where, where'd you say my air landing? Oh yeah. Well so it's yeah. Well, we still got time. <gasps> so for us, <gasps> our bows IBO at three forty. We're not shooting heavy arrow, we're not shooting a freaking light arrow, but we're, I don't even know what it weighs. We're just shooting an average arrow. And, uh, holding this way. But I, I don't know what it would shoot. We need to IBO it, but. Straight out of the box, 68 yards is actually 80 for the Trophy Ridge React Trio Pro. Probably any of the digital React sites would be that way. Um, it should be right over here. I saw it bounce up and come down. But Colton, what do you think about the digital? It's nice. The bottom pin is a .10 compared to the other ones that are .19. So it's smaller. Uh, it takes some time getting used to the, because I went from a three pin horizontal to one vertical on the bottom. But I mean, it's nice. A little heavier. <laughs> On the right side. That, that fight is a lot heavier than a traditional fight, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Be prepared for that. Yeah, it's pretty heavy, but we just got a sidebar mount today. There's somewhere right through here. I might see it. See it? Might. No, that's not it. No, but we got a sidebar mount today. Huh? I was, we got a sidebar mount today. Huh? Right here. Is it, now, is that the one from the other day or what? No, because no, we walked through here. So it went uh, 200 yards? 200 yards? Yeah, 150. Oh, 200 I got a range finder. 167 yards. All right. After he hit the dirt. Or not after he hit the dirt, but while hitting the dirt. Yeah. All right, well. Should we go back and pick one? We're going to go back and. Well, it's too dark now. We'll go. I think I should. I want to do a challenge, kind of. We'll go, uh, what challenge? Uh, this is, this is about the shooting light, this is when you shot yours. I shot mine right at this time. Yeah, right at this time. I shot mine at 53 yards uphill, both ways. Spining. Six miles. All right, there's a difference between my spine and Colton's spine, okay? Colton's arrow went in at the spine and hit the spine. My arrow... No, wait, you're saying the deer was like this? Like straight on and it hit up here. Yeah, his so this is like, the spine, his... His hit directly into his hit directly into the spine. Mine went through and then up into the spine, right where I shot. It went right in where you should shoot him. It just the angle, the angle, sent it right to the spine. It dropped it on the spot, which is always nice when they drop on the spot. But he didn't even he didn't even get a lung or a heart with the bridge brought it because that how small they were. I think he got a lung. You think? I think they, they were did. shriveled. They were like yeah, they were. I think it cut right through the lung. That's why they were so dang small. But no, wow. This thing does not do justice whatsoever. It's like half, it look, makes it look bright, though. Half it? night vision right now. I, I had struggled to read my dang. I mean, honestly, it looks kind of the same, just a little darker. I don't think we should even look. I'm just gonna film you shooting. Nice. That was cool how right before you shot, it got quiet. So yeah. you don't even have to add music to it. It just went poof. So should I shoot one of yours or one of mine? Yeah, you can shoot one of mine. Or yours, it don't matter. It's the same as that arrow. All right, I guess we'll have... You've been shooting all day. That was my first shot of the day at 80. No, you shot once. I didn't shoot at all. That, that's the first time my bow come out. Remember, I just had to put a stabilizer on. Oh, no. oh yeah. All right, ready? Mm-hmm. Closer to the middle, right? Yeah. Mind. Not in competition. <laughs> I would have to let down. <laughs> I think you had more of a pfft than me. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure I was a little, little right or a little low. Oh, it's high. I think we're off the same amount. <laughs> yeah, we're both a little right. Yeah. So where would you say middle though? I think you're closer. If you look, well, well, if you look, I'm more in line with the dot than you are. Middle would be right here. No, if you just look at the out uh, the dots on the outside. Yeah. Like I'm almost. Well, no. 
You, I think you're like within the red line, like yeah. above. But so I just, think you're just like a half inch closer than me. Yeah. We'll call it a draw. Pretty much. Good shooting. Yeah, I know. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So we've already set the first one. Then press mode till you see second up here. So mode. Let me just show them one time. Let's power. Where do you? Oh, press mode. No, hold a second. Second. Select. Jenny? It should go purple. Once it's, well, it's not working, it's fine. Once you both set it down, press and hold select for two flashes. Should flash twice. Once, twice. Now you just have them to 68. Oh, now you gotta do 80. You gotta put 80 in. Yeah. No. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah, you gotta go to 80. Okay. Yeah. That's 80. Press select, blah, blah, blah. Press and hold for two flashes. Okay, and then press and hold for two flashes, and it'll turn gray. There we go. Yep. You t that's gray, right? Green, kind of. Yeah, gray screen. Your sight is calibrated now. Now it's gray. Perfect. All right. Now we should be able to go unlock it, move it all the way up. 40. Okay, it got a little too crazy in the house the other night with all the just dance being played and everything. So we're gonna go over it real quick. 40. And the side tape. Just 40. Why will that not focus? I'll just take my word for it. That's 40. And then you dial it to, let's go. 60, is that showing 60 over there? Yep. 60. I might need to get a new lens for this thing. 70. All right, we got 70. And 70, we go 80. Are we on 80? Yep, 80. All right, and then we got 100. And it's at 100. So I guess if you run out of the digital, you're not gonna have any sight tape past 100. 100, but we we'll, we really need to look at this fletching. The fletching's gonna hit. So let's put it in there, line it up. So it looks like you can probably get like 105 out of it. One one anything over 105, you're gonna be hitting fletching. But that looks pretty. You gotta. Yeah, I think you should be. It may hit, but I think you'd be all right. Yeah, I'd say 105 safely. It's not bad. No. What's your side get? Like 130? Uh, I've only shot 105 with it. Oh, sweet. So, I mean, it's pretty much the same. Yeah. But, yeah, the uh, digital react is pretty much the same as the regular react, except digital. Which is kind of nice, kind of not. I don't like the wheel. I don't like the lock. I wish it had the lock that mine has. Because that's annoying. But not bad. Alright, well, that's it for the review of the Trophy Ridge. React Trio Pro Digital. And then we have a bow spider to review. Yeah. That I'm going to put on. Um, I think that's it for now. You can tell me the deck is stacked. Can't whisper behind my back